Ever since I went off to spend some time alone at a cottage in the middle of nowhere with my blue passport traveler's notebook, I haven't moved back into my regular size notebook. What was supposed to be a week away from my regular size traveler's notebook turned into three months. So as you already know by reading the title of this video, today I'll be moving into and setting up my brand new passport traveler's notebook. So why buy another traveler's notebook in the same size as the one that I already have, you might ask? Because it's beautiful and it's brown and because I'm slowly but surely collecting all of the colors available. No shame. Aside from all of that, I also really wanted to see if I could find a softer leather cover than my current Blue Passport notebook. I know that every leather cover will be unique, but my Blue Passport size is made up of much tougher leather than my Camel regular size. I think I got really lucky with my Camel because it was extremely soft the moment I opened it, but my Blue Passport size barely bends. So with this new brown passport notebook, I'm hoping that it'll soften up as the leather ages. Okay, so what's inside my current blue passport notebook? Really, only the bare minimum. First, I've got a plastic zipper case that holds my bookstore and library cards, as well as some Polaroids and stickers. And then I have a dot grid notebook that I'm using as my bullet journal. And that's it. I want to keep this charm that I got from the Traveler's Company store at Narita Airport, so I'll remove that as well. And for my new passport notebook, I'm changing up my setup slightly and I'll be adding a craft paper insert. But before we get to that, I'll first remove the blank notebook that the new leather cover comes with and I'll also add the charm onto the string. And now let's get started with decorating my new craft paper insert. So this is the first time that I've picked up this insert and it's full of these thin brown papers. I wanted to try it out because I was thinking that I'd like to use it as a scrapbooking journal. The goal for this notebook is not to focus so much on being perfect or organized, but instead on creating pretty spreads without any pressure. So here are the supplies I want to use for decorating this notebook's cover. I wanted to make it look especially scrapbooky, so I started off by ripping off the straight edges of these two scrap papers and gluing them down. The main focus of the cover is definitely this sticker of a scenery that looks like it was ripped off of Pinterest, but it's of an easel, painting, and painting supplies. There's a view of a city through the window too. Because I want this notebook to be a place where I can express myself creatively without caring how it looks, I thought that this photo of an artist's studio was especially relevant. And I love the colors in the photo, and it looks like it's basking in the glow of a warm sunset. And then I used a black and white sticker of a woman looking away, which when I stick it down, looks like she's looking into the studio. And I also stuck down a quote sticker that says, embrace your own page. It's a great reminder for me to embrace whatever I create, even if it's not what I had been imagining and even if I don't think it looks good. And finally, I used a golden sticker of a wreath of leaves. On the back of the notebook, I wanted to use a single stamp of a typewriter because it's also a symbol for creativity and art. Everything I included on the cover of this notebook is a reminder that art comes in so many different shapes and forms, and that includes scrapbooking. And now let's set up my new passport notebook. Starting with the plastic case, I'll slide that in between the top and bottom band of the leather cover. And to combine the two inserts that I have, I'm taking out a new rubber band from the Traveler's Company. I had been using the black rubber band for my blue passport notebook, but because I'm using a brown leather cover now, I thought I might as well match it with a brown rubber band. 
it's important to stretch it out so that it doesn't rip from the friction. And then I'll slide that rubber band around the two inserts to combine them, and then slip the two notebooks under the band of the leather cover. And that's it! I am really excited to start using my new brown passport notebook and to see how the leather ages. I'm excited to see if it'll get soft and more bendable as I keep using it and it keeps touching my hands. And I'm also really happy with how the cover of my craft paper notebook turned out. I already feel really inspired to start scrapbooking in there. If you like this video, you might enjoy watching my video about starting a new bullet journal in my regular size traveler's notebook, so feel free to check that out as well if you're interested. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!